Hello, and welcome to my blog for this week for ECI 832. Thought I'd do something a little bit different, kind of do a little Rick, Alan Rick Mercer rant. I've seen some other teachers uh, do this too. So our question that we're supposed to blog on is, you know, what did we learn last week about uh, ethical, moral, and uh, legal values, basically when we're using uh, social media or media in general? And uh, this is definitely something I've been struggling through my, my whole career. Um, you know, there's always like, should I use this? Should I share this? Um, I need something, so should I do whatever I need to do uh, to get it to help the students out? Um, am I being fair with things? And one thing that I just wanted to concentrate right now is actually, you know, I love using Twitter and I love sharing what, uh, you know, what I do in my classroom uh, quite a bit. Uh, you know, to show different techniques and to, to, you know, I'm really proud of the work uh, that me and my students are doing. So it's great to share it and maybe hopefully somebody gets an, another idea from it or, you know, those type of things. But I know legally, uh, you know, we have our media policy that the students um, sign at the beginning of the year. And, you know, I take a look through that and I kind of basically know who has and who hasn't. There's been a few times when kids haven't had it in their forms. You know, and usually I'm pretty good about asking, you know, do you mind if I take your, your photo or do you mind if I do a video with you? You know, and those type of things. And kids are usually really good about saying yes. And, you know, if a kid doesn't want to, I'll definitely say no, uh, no, that's all right and, and move on and ask another kid. But even if a, sa- a kid says yes, if something happens, am I still on the hook? Uh, you know, it makes me think quite a bit. You know, I try to take pictures from, like, say, the back of the room and the back of your heads, but sometimes pictures uh, slip in, and I still go ahead and tweet. And uh, it hasn't caught up with me yet. Look, there's some geese flying by. Pretty cool. Uh, it hasn't caught up with me yet, but I do wonder, and I do, you know, even my own kids taking pictures and putting them on, you know, without asking them, like, is, is that right? I don't really do that on Facebook and, and that type of a thing, but, you know, on Twitter, I do share a lot of, what's going on with my classroom and that type of thing. So it really gets me thinking about that. Um, I think I do a pretty good job. I think I need to tighten it up uh, even more so and really work on, uh, you know, framing my shots like I have been, whether it's uh, taking a shot from behind and that. And when I do get verbal permission to just uh, try to verify it as best as I can, um, it's definitely something I struggle with. And I thought I would share that. Uh, with you and uh, see what you guys think about it should uh, pictures of students in class now I deal with high school students so it's a little bit different a lot of these kids are older than 13 and that type of thing so I don't really have uh, maybe the issues that an elementary teacher may have but uh, I'm still interested to see what other people think about uh, what's the legal implications of you know taking pictures of students while they're working in the classroom and and putting it on so This has been my uh, first attempt at doing uh, a vlog, kind of like a Rick Mercer-esque rant. Uh, I hope you found it interesting. I'd love to hear your comments on that. And, uh, you know, it's uh, been a great class. Take this opportunity to to thank everybody in class for being amazing. Uh, I've learned a lot. And, uh, yeah, Um, thanks a lot for watching. And uh, until next time. Stay classy. Take care.